He wrestled for the state of Michigan in college. He's, he's a tough guy. This guy can wrestle. He'll wrestle a bear down. I don't know if he ever did wrestle a bear once, but he definitely, he, he could. He's no, I don't know if he's, I mean, I know everybody knows about Khabib, but this guy could, I, I believe he could wrestle a damn bear down. We're talking about the dog face grammar. That's right. Big punch. Here we go. Let's test, test of strength. And we'll see who gets the better of it. Ric Flair is getting the better of Rick Steiner. Check it out. Yep, Ric Flair showing he's still got what it takes, baby. Watch out, and Ric Steiner, the knee to the gut, and Northern Light suplex overhead. Check it out now. Oh, Rick, Rick Steiner trying to tear the face off of Ric Flair. As, uh, come on, man. I guess, I guess he thinks that the plane crash you know, they, they, they didn't do enough to Ric Flair. He, he, he thinks he needs to, to just gouge his, his face off. Well, look at this. A nice backdrop by, by Rick Steiner and a standing clothesline. Beautiful. That's what you call, no, a Steiner line. Watch out, Rick Steiner picks up Rick Flair and he's got him in a backbreaker. Drops him, man, that's like a, kind of like a dominator. We'll just pretend that's what he did. And, and, and it looks like he, damn well it looks like he did that. Um, and now he's trying to peel the face off of uh, Rick Flair. He's either trying to peel the face off or he's trying to take one of those eyes out. Or stretch his nose, one of the two. Watch out, Rick Flair sneakily goes for the figure four out of nowhere after a drop kick. And Rick Steiner's gonna have to endure that. Endure that, I'm sorry, endure that, endure that. Yeah, you better make sure you get your grammar right here because there'll be people watching this video who are gonna correct you right away. I mean, they'll be, they'll, oh, believe me, they'll be ready to correct everything. Not just your grammar, but just the st anything you say about these guys. That I like it, like, for, for instance, you just, you know, you did mention that these guys have a wrestle against each other and somebody out there is gonna say, oh, uh oh, oh, no, these guys don't know their shit. These guys did wrestle once. Rick Stein with another backdrop. I don't see how Rick Flair can tolerate much more of this. I mean, wow, and a punch to the face. Rick Steiner, oh, and I think he cut him open. Do I see blood? Or do I smell blood? I think I smell blood. What are you, a vampire? Watch out, Rick Steiner with a powerbomb. In combo. Pushing down on those legs and trying to get that three almost. Rick Flair rolls back. He's got to regroup a little bit, man. But if you think about it, Ric Flair's always, always taking a pounding and then comes out on top. He, he reminds me of a, of a, of a just, just, just another porn star, you know? I mean, I'm sorry, I'm not, I mean, he, he, that's just him though. You can, you can basically, you know, take, beat Ric Flair up until the very end of the match and he, watch out, he gets you in a small package. Or he gets you in some kind of roll up, a la Vader, Starcade. It's over. I think it was Starcade. Somebody's gonna correct this if it's not, all right? Now, that's what we have the, our viewers for. Check it out, Ric Flair, Whoa. now backdrop. Oh, I mean, no, I'm sorry. Uh, there you go, correct me already, I said back break. Power, but look like he was a power bomb and then turned, him into, turned it into a dominator, man. You know, that's right, what Ron Simmons used to do, or Farouk. Well, look at this, wow. How does Ric Flair have it in him to hold up Rick Steiner with that beautiful vertical suplex that would make the British Bulldog jealous? It's a that was a heck of a move. And look at this, he's going for another suplex. After you said that, after that vertical uh, suplex. I mean, man, all the blood rushes down to the head, then drops him, and then he does another suplex. Beautiful. I love it. This is great. And it looks like Ric Flair's fired up. Could be the cut. Could be that Rick, Rick Steiner's been kicking his ass this whole time. And now Ric Flair drags that arm down, puts some pressure on it, tries a, a, a standing drop kick that, uh, that set that figure four last time, but did not work this time. Uh, Rick Steiner able to avoid it, and a uh, forearm to the back. Oh, and that, that made uh, Rick Flair give a forearm to the, the mat. He's, he's, he's pretty upset about it. Check it out, both these guys just going at it, man. Rick Steiner picks up Rick Flair over, head press slam. Beautiful head going for the cover, one, two. No, oh my goodness, Rick Flair barely kicking out. Wow. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, Rick, Rick Steiner's just been, he's had the advantage. No, he's trying to, Man, he's trying to he's trying to stretch that cut of Ric Flair. I've never seen anything more uh, vicious. Not even, even more than Sid vicious. Watch out, Ric Flair slaps on that figure four again. This is the second figure four. I've never seen Ric Flair get four figure fours. I mean, have you? I'm sure it's happened before. I'm sure it's happened before. Um, but let's see, man, Ric Flair. Big chop, there we go, woo! There's one of those chops. Rick Flair picking up Rick Steiner. Look at this, man. Both these guys have used this move, that backbreaker, where he picks him up in a powerbomb, uh, like he's got a powerbomb, and just starts uh, putting pressure on that back, using that, using their shoulders. But check it out, Rick Flair with a snapmare. 
takes him down. What's he gonna do now? Maybe a camel clutch? Nope. Maybe we're gonna be rear naked choke from the back? Nope. What's Ric Flair up to? Oh, there we go, abdominal stretch. I know my shit. Check it out, well, abdominal stretch, and yeah, he's, he's putting, oh, he's, oh my God, he's putting a lot of pressure on that neck as well. You see that headlock that he had from there? Man, watch out, a snapmare. After that, that could be it, beautiful, man. I would have never thought about pinning after that, but that, that's very, very nice of nature, boy, man. He He's trying to take every advantage he can. I mean, you know, you know Ric Flair, he's the dirtiest player in the game. But this man, this match has been pretty dirty. Both guys gouging each other out. Rick Steiner missed that shoulder running or jumping shoulder block. And but punches Ric Flair and goes for the pin. But no, the ropes are there to save him. That could have been it. Ric Flair has, has he needs to thank those ropes later. Well, what happened there? I think he poked him in the eye. That's that's the, just uh, just going back to what I said. I said that he's the dirtiest player of the game. Watch out, Rick. Rick. Okay, Rick Steiner now just. Rick, 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 Rick. This is hard to keep up with, man. If I say Rick, there's this to Rick. How, how are you supposed to know who I'm talking about? Well, just watch the screen. Rick Blair, look at that. Oh, being cocky as ever. Brushes his hair, tries walking away. The nature boy. Standing drop kick. Ooh, got him good. And now telling him, get up, come and get me. I'm walking away. I'm, I'm on fire, baby. You know Rick Blair would say something like that. Watch out. Oh, man. Well, he's ready to get up, uh, you know, to... to to definitely uh, go, 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 get, go get those women. Watch out, Ric Flair, snap, snap, he's slapping on the figure four again in the middle of the ring this time. Will Rick Steiner be able to get the ropes? Give no, up. he taps off. I believe that was the third or possibly fourth figure four. I believe it might've been the third and that's all it took, ladies and gentlemen. Ric Flair wins by submission and a bloody, and that's because he was cut open from the start. Wow, you gotta love that uh, dedication, man, determination to keep going, baby. What a match.